The LNG sale and purchase agreements and tolling agreements are alive and well. Um, Long-term commitments by customers are a key underpinning of those agreements. Uh, and the market seems to recognize that even in a period of uh, uh, high price volatility and, um, and uh, short-term cargoes uh, being in high supply, that there is um, a role and a place for long-term contracts. Indeed, they underpin the financing uh, of projects. Nonetheless, there are quite a number of important developments and evolutions underway. Uh, the market is driving changes in terms of additional flexibility in destinations, additional flexibility in volumes, both the overall quantity to match the dispatch profile of some customers, as well as the season, seasonability or rateability of those volumes. Uh, credit support is something that's uh, changing and um, you know, people are looking very closely at in terms of non-traditional uh, credit support options for some buyers. Um, and, uh, and overall, uh, price reviews and those clauses are also uh, morphing as we speak. So there's a lot of change in the market, but it's change within the basic business model of the long-term SPA or tolling agreement. Well, I think the, the current uh, high level of perceived supply and I emphasize perceived, uh, is driven by um, the fact that we have um, a large number of potential projects that have been proposed, not all of which may come to fruition, uh, as well as remarketing of some existing projects so that the uh, primary uh, customers are, are uh, competing with the original suppliers, uh, creating a sense of the same molecules being sold more than once or offered more than once. That's driving a sense that there's a tremendous oversupply, but it's really a short-term issue. Uh, in the long term, um, it's going to continue to be important to have uh, supply and demand in balance with long-term contracts that support uh, that, uh, that supply and underpin it. Um, and I think that there's some concern uh, at the moment in the industry that uh, perhaps the short-term oversupply is, uh, is confusing um, is being confused with uh, long-term uh, demand. The World LNG Summit is a fantastic event. It's um, uh, an opportunity to network with, uh, with our counterparties, with our colleagues, with our clients, our friends, uh, both to learn best practices, how others are adjusting to the industry, uh, how, what the evolving trends are across the industry, uh, and also to share some best practices to the extent we can do so. Um, it's a great opportunity to network um, and to learn. And uh, as always, CWC does a fantastic job in organizing the event and making sure it's a, a valuable uh, opportunity for everybody.